in the blockbuster entertainment that is NBA Twitter. Kevin Durant is unquestionably an above-the-title star, from his burner accounts to the snake memes that greeted his move to the Golden State Warriors. I had a couple death threats on there a few times. You got to know that it's not serious. But a lot of people do take it too far with the stuff they say, but you know, like you said, you just got to laugh it off. Yeah, so you don't take it too serious at all? Try not to. Sometimes I do, though. I can't lie. On his ESPN Plus show, The Boardroom, KD seemed cool with the NBA's social media whirlwind, which has given us the DeAndre Jordan emoji war of summer 2015. Paul George re-upping with the Thunder while on stage. I'm here to stay. And a landscape of brush fires. The Blazers' CJ McCollum hit a different note. You can't live a normal life anymore. You can't go on vacation. You can't post happy pictures. You're supposed to be depressed. And everything comes back to you losing the game and they're telling you to get in the gym. She's an Olympian and an all-star and now a WNBA champion, Stewie! Mine is a little different. Go back in the kitchen, like nobody cares, mm. like blah, blah, blah. I would say everybody gets it. The state of mind of basketball's best, perhaps owing to social media's sway. It's a hot topic in the wake of NBA Commissioner Adam Silver's words to the ringer's Bill Simmons. I think we live a bit in the age of anxiety. Part of it is a direct product of social media. When I meet with them, what strikes me is that they are truly unhappy. This is not some, like, you know, show they're putting on. While on Get Up, Charles Barkley took issue with that idea. He's a great guy, but that's the stupid thing I've ever heard of any commissioner say. These guys are making 20, 30, 40 million dollars a year. They work six, seven months a year. We stay at the best hotels in the world. They ain't got no problems. Whatever its influence on the moods of players, for some, Twitter's dopamine rush remains hard to resist, along with the urge to clap back. I'm addicted. I, I'm going to record. I am addicted to social media. Every one out of 10, I'm responding for sure. Off the I'm going to the Avi. I'm checking out your life story. <laughs> Are you sure that's one out of 10? Because I feel like I've seen maybe, you Maybe two 10. out of five. <laughs> <laughs> and while some have called out social media as isolated or divisive, KD can reflect on it as a force for good in his own life. To be honest, I had Twitter as a platform just to interact with people. I mean, I was always been an introvert, never really had a lot of friends that I talked to about, about things. And to use Twitter got me more confident, as crazy as that seems. And I know there's a lot of kids out there that probably felt the same way as me. 